We'll start up the top. X squared minus X minus 12. Uh, if it equals zero, when you say solve, what are you searching for? What are you looking for? You're searching for X, but not just any X. Like there are specific values of X. You only want specific ones. What is it about these? Why is two not a solution or one or zero? Okay, if I substitute in that particular value of x, like say 1 or 2, this is not true. Uh, 1 minus 1 minus 12 is not 0, right? So it doesn't satisfy that original equation. That's what I'm searching for. The best way to be able to find that is to factorize. Now we'll point out, just like I've mentioned before, for a nice easy monic quadratic like this, what does monic mean by the way? Monic? 1 referring to... Um, the one that's actually implied at the front there. For a nice easy monic quadratic like this, you think of your pair of numbers, you can go straight to this line, right? Three and negative four, they'll multiply to that and they'll add to that, okay? So there are our solutions and you can test them out. You can put in four, uh, 16 minus four minus 12. It's zero, right? So I'm happy. We'll come back to two. You guys are gonna have to help me out. Down here, Arib's helped us out with one line of working. What rule is that? Do you recognize it? It's the cosine rule, which is why it starts with cos. We were marking some tests during the yearly and people used the cosine rule, except they started it with sine. The cosine rule has cosine in it. Um, you can see he has to use all three, one, two, three, of these sides. There's an A and a B and a C. Does it matter which one A and B are? It doesn't matter which one A and B are, why not? It doesn't matter which one A and B are because you do the same thing to A that you do to B. You square it and you add. Down here you just multiply, same thing. Okay? But to C you do something different. Uh, you subtract it and it's not there on the denominator. I pause for your sake, not mine, because I know because I walked around and I had a look. A lot of you do not know how to do this, so I want to make sure you do. That big fraction will give you some work for your calculator to do. You'll punch that in. There's a there's a an operation on your calculator that you have to do to get from Arib's first line to his last line. What are you going to have to put on your calculator after you evaluate that fraction? You have to go to shift cause to undo the cause that's there on the left hand side. Do I have agreement with 81 degrees 56 minutes? Yes, did we round it correctly? Yeah. Great, okay, you guys are gonna help me do question two. You're gonna help me work out what to write. I'm gonna leap straight into the quadratic formula because I look at that and I think, gross. Um, even if it ends up being something I can factorize, the quadratic formula will still give that to me, okay? So if we go t equals, how does the quadratic formula begin? Minus B, there's B, right there. So minus B will be positive four. Plus or minus, why is there a plus or minus in there? Because I, I took the square root when I completed the square and there's a plus and there's a minus, right? Um, there's the square root that you just told me about. What's underneath the square root? Okay, B squared, which in this case is, in this case? 16. Take away 4AC, which is four times 3 times negative 1, that's 12, isn't it? So that's actually, I'll put them negative 12 there, is that okay? There's my b squared minus 4ac, all over what? 2a, 6, okay, so far so good. Now I can work with this thing underneath the square root, 16 take away negative 12 is 28, very good on 6, and I can tidy this up a little bit. Um, see this square root of 28? There's a square number I can get it out. What's the square number? 4. four. So if I take it out, the square root of 4 of course is 2, which leaves me with the square root of 7, which means I can, I'm not even going to bother writing it, but I could write that as 2 plus or minus root 7 on 3. Does that make sense? Maybe I will write it just for the sake of it. Okay, are you happy? Quadratic formula, you gotta know that one like in the back of your hand, okay?